Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla on the Gong. I'm going to show you how to enable service mode on your Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Now, do not do this if you do not know what you're doing. Now, I am doing this only for the purpose of this video to see what my car is doing and how all the systems are functioning. And I also like the cool graphics that some of the uh, menus and submenus have, and that is why I'm making this video. So, be warned. Now, my car is a 2020 Fremont Tesla Model 3 long range. And we're going to see how to enable service mode on this. Let's go into software and go into model three name and just hold down on that for a few seconds and you'll get a floating menu which comes up like so. And you can hit on the word service, S-E-R-B-I-C-E -E, and click OK. And you get that service mode warning. It says service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle are you sure you want to enable this? I'm like, yeah, that is for purpose of this video alone. So the warning is right out there. So do not do this if you do not know what you're doing. Caution, do not enter service mode on public roads unless there is a maintenance requirement to do so. Let's override and hit enable. You'll see that a nice red bar comes across the screen. It says service mode on top and you can actually exit service mode by clicking and holding down on this button. So if you do not know what you're doing, if you're on this screen, get out by clicking on the exit service mode and then keep holding it for a few seconds. Now, let's see what the car is all about. Now, mine is a 2020 Fremont Tesla Model 3, like I said. So mine does not have a Ryzen computer. It has an Intel Atom computer and mine does have the full self-driving computer attached and enabled in my car. My car has done 56,916 kilometers, which is about 35,360 miles. My car has a software firmware of 2023.6.8, which enabled this service mode, by the way. So, and that is that. And we can look at service alerts that have come up. Let's look at the service alert. It says left footwell light is faulty. So I, I can go and change that. Uh, I can go and fix that um, if I want to. Now let's get back into remainder of the service mode. And look at the driver assist features. I can look at how the cameras are functioning. I believe green is good. Red is dud. So this is all green. So that's pretty cool. And then I can look at the other sensors there. So our cars do have the radar. Mine is not a radarless model. So my, my car does have the radar. And I can look at all the other ultrasonic sensors which are working. And there is a GPS fix available as well. Pretty cool. Look at the connectivity of the car. I can look at Wi-Fi, I can look at the cell service and I look at the modem and uh, see that it's all green. It is not red, so it's not dead. That's not too bad. Hey, okay, let's go there and look at charging. So look at, look at the charging. So it shows uh, the BMS, the battery management system is in green. So it's, it's looking okay. The high voltage uh, interlock loop, uh, it's in green. Now, I do not know what some of the other things mean, but I'm just going to go through the menus. If others who are more proficient than me know more about this, please do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's look at the uh, power conversion system or the PCS and I can see I can actually test my battery's health here. So uh, it has a 91.4% charge uh, in my car, uh, which gives me about uh, 470 kilometers at this time I can actually go and test this health but I know that I can't test it now because my car is not plugged to an AC adapter because what it does is it completely discharges the battery and recharges I can even show you how it's done let's click on health and I can uh, I'm, I'm, I need to enable uh, a further gateway unlock so what do you do is you turn up the right signal and then hold down the battery sorry the brake for about eight seconds can click out of this and then you hold it up in the and there you go so it says gateway is unlocked it will be unlocked for 89 minutes and 56 seconds you can click on test the health but it'll say you can't do it it need to be plugged to a six 
popular volt AC charger. So I need to plug into uh, an AC adapter, either the UMS or the high power wall charger. And only then you can do it. It will say that the state of charge must be below 50. A vehicle must be plugged in and must have at least six kilowatts. Now uh, it will take about 24 hours for the test to run and HV battery will be discharged and recharged fully. So you can do this if you want to. I'm not going to do this time. Close this. We can test this at a later date. Now let's turn off this. Let's go through other menus. Power distribution. We'll make sure that the um, uh, the low voltage battery is still okay. I have 14.2 or 28 volts and an amperage of 0 0.36 to 0 0.69 amperes. And the PCS, uh, which is the power connectivity system, has about 14.27 volts with about 20 to 21 amps as well. It's pretty cool to see all this. Now I can reset these things. I do not know what I'm doing. So be warned and I'm not going to touch any of that. We're just going to do a look, don't touch kind of a thing. So we can look at the AC. Uh, it says um, the you can test the HVAC's performance and also test the thermal performance. Uh, if you want to drain some fluid now again, do not know what I'm doing. Please be warned. Now this is the menu I really like. I like the uh, the way they, they, they show this. Again, I do not know what I'm seeing, but it just looks great. Uh, you can see that the compressor is an, on idle. Uh, the liquid, it has seven bars and 27 degrees centigrade. Uh, that is the coolant inside. And, and this looks really, really, really cool. And that is the uh, the hatchback uh, that you see inside of the front when you open it. That's the uh, vent for it. That looks really sweet, isn't it? Now you can look at the refrigerant system and this is my my favorite too so you can look at uh, the heat pump uh, it's it, it can you can start the thermal thermal drain or fill the thermal drain so on and so forth uh, you can see uh, what the pressure is the temperature is and so on and so forth there the coolant system also looks pretty darn sweet i like this particular graphic uh, it is really sweet again all in green so i think i'm good if it is red it is dead so <laughs> so that is that so that is pretty cool um now let's keep looking at uh, more things now this is the alignment so uh, right now you can see my steering wheel is slightly turned and i can actually turn it and and straighten it right now i'm in park so i wouldn't want to do that so i can actually uh, move my steering wheel to to affect that but i can see that the uh, positioning is good and I don't need to uh, apply an offset to my steering wheel at this time that's pretty cool now looking at the windows um, I can look at the windows there uh, and uh, test table empty at fault I do not know what that means I'm going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to send that to Tesla and find out if I need to uh, do anything about that I'm not sure if you guys know please do leave that your thoughts in the comments below you can calibrate your windows here of course you can calibrate your window without coming into test mode as well so service mode as well so that that's all there now once you have meddled with this enough and you've gotten enough uh, of information and fun out of this uh, I'm gonna exit out of the service mode by clicking and then you hold it down and exit service mode so that is that so be careful do not have to do this to do any of the calibrations you can actually do all of the calibrations inside of the service menu here you can do a factory reset a wiper service mode you can do browser history clearing camera calibration camera preview tire and wheel configuration notifications the whole works including towing and car wash mode all of that is there in the service menu you do not have to go into the service mode for this but now you know how to enable service mode so that is that if you want me to test my battery health, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Next weekend, perhaps I will plug the car in and then let it do the battery health test for about 24 hours. That's all guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in another interesting video. Just hold for these messages. Thanks.